Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing the ultimate top 10 eyeshadow palette battle. So we have some really good palette talk today. So if you're interested in seeing which palette is going to win the battle, then just keep watching. Thank you guys for coming in for today's video. It is in collaboration with my friend Christina and Tara here on YouTube. I personally love collaborations just because as a member of this community, I absolutely love working with the wonderful women that are on this platform. I feel like a lot of times the vision of the beauty community is very skewed based on some very large figures. And quite frankly, it's just not true. I have met some of the most wonderful women through this beauty community that I am part of. And I will continue to do collaborations and continue to support these women because for me, this is the best part of being on YouTube, is the community that I am able to be a part of. So the first person I am collaborating with is Christina Brooke. If you guys have not checked out her channel yet, you are missing out. She produces a very high quality content and very original content. I love watching her fashion hauls and she comes up with very original ideas. And if you're into dupes, especially for new products, she always covers dupes of new palettes that are coming out. She does amazing content. And I've really been obsessed with her channel a lot lately just because her video ideas are so original and I can't help but be like, well, I want to know what that's all about. And then also, of course, I have collaborated with Tara Lynn many times on my channel. She is literally like my big sister at this point. I just love her so much. She is truly one of the sweetest people on the internet and I feel so blessed to have been able to meet her through this crazy YouTube thing. So make sure you guys go subscribe to their channels if you haven't already. And let's get into this palette battle. So what it is basically is we each picked 10 of our favorite palettes. Now for me to say, okay, these are most definitely my top 10 favorite palettes. That's just unrealistic. I have no idea what my top 10 favorite palettes are, but I did try and get a good variety of palettes that I thoroughly enjoy, palettes that I feel like you thoroughly enjoy and that I am always getting questions about and I also was thinking about the other ladies that I was collaborating with as well seeing if I could incorporate some of the palettes that I think they also will have in their videos so that you can really see which palettes are the best you know and how it's going to work is I'm going to blindly grab a palette and blindly grab another palette I'm gonna battle it out tell you which one I think is better if they lost the round they're out and then we'll move on to the next match and so on and so forth a little confusing you'll see as we go on so I'm quickly gonna introduce introduce you to the contestants, the palettes that I picked out. I picked out One Baby from Charlotte Tilbury. This actually was the one that I used for my eyeshadow look today. I felt like pulling it out and playing with it. And this is the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette. This is not her newest of her longer palettes, but it still is available, I believe. And basically you have four different kind of eye looks that you can get. Of course, you can dig in from any part of the palette that you want, but I really love this palette because it is so creamy and I feel like it's a true representation of the best formula from Charlotte Tilbury while also getting a variety of different looks. So I absolutely love this one and it's gorgeous and it's one that I highly, highly, highly recommend. We also have the Scott Barnes Snatural Palette. I know Tara absolutely loves this one and you guys always ask me about this one as well because it's just a really great staple neutral everyday kind of palette while you also are able to still get some very glam looks. I really enjoy the formula of this. I think it's very user friendly. Kind of can't mess up with it. It's a really nice formula. Gorgeous colors, everyday colors. I always feel really comfortable using this palette so this definitely had to be in the lineup as well. Um, I did pick out two Pat McGrath palettes. It was a pretty tough battle to pick out the two that I wanted to talk about. Ultimately though, I did decide to of course have my beloved bronze seduction palette. If you guys don't know, this is actually probably my favorite Pat McGrath palette ever. It's definitely one of my most used because I feel like not only does it contain colors that I'm most comfortable with, but it also contains colors that inspire me and I just think it's that perfect balance of wanting to reach for this palette for every day but also wanting to reach for it for that creative level and then I also decided to put in also the Divine Rose 2 now this is the newest palette that has come out and it is 
truly one of my favorites in her line. I don't know exactly where it will rank. I want to use it some more, give it some more love. But it's a really bomb palette, you guys. The quality in here is fantastic as always. And I think the colors in here are just very fun to play with. And you can get a lot of different looks from this palette. And every single look that you get, I think is really incredible. So if you haven't ventured into Pat McGrath, you guys know it is my favorite eyeshadow brand. So I think my pats are going to do very well in this little battle that we have going on. I picked out two from Viseart. The first one is my all-time favorite Viseart palette. The first one is the Viseart Liaison palette and it looks like this. Now this one is not currently available but the reason I am not afraid to feature it in this video is because I did message them recently and I asked them if they were coming back with it and they said they were coming back with it with the fall with some additional add-ons. I don't know what that means but Dusty inside school. This is one of my favorite purple palettes of all time So I definitely had to put it in here This was personally something that I wanted to throw in here and then also probably my most used palette in the world is my Viseart Grande Pro volume 1. This one might struggle in here because it is the only all matte palette that I am featuring But it's just so good. It has every single color that you need. The quality of it is phenomenal and ugh if you need mattes, you need this palette. I picked out two ABH palettes. I really find ABH to be such a classic brand with such classic palettes. And I picked out kind of the two most popular. One is my personal favorite, which is the Sultry palette because it's gorgeous and glittery and Kuto neutrals. I mean, come on now. Like, I love this palette so much. It gives you that glam, neutral, cool toned look that I absolutely love with a lot of texture and dimension. And then I also have the Soft Glam palette which is arguably, along with the Busy Art, my most used palette as well. Great go-to colors, great for every day. I will use this palette once, I'll kind of pick it up to use it, and then I find myself unable to put it down after that. And then the last two palettes I chose were from, of course, Natasha Denona. Did you think I was going to leave her out? So I picked out the 28 Green and Brown palette. This is one of my favorite palettes from her, and it did kind of start off her brand, but I think not a lot of people talk about it so much anymore, but I think this is kind of the best quality that you can get from Natasha Denona and I think that we forget about it. I do as well in my reviews and I really do need to come back to this formula more because this is the standard for Natasha Denona in my opinion. This is the best that it could possibly be. And then I also picked up, I haven't used this in a while, I should have worn this one today, but the gold palette and you guys know when this came out this was like my all time favorite palette especially from Natasha Denona. I have to shamefully admit that I have not used it recently, but gold tones are, mm, the gold tones in here are so beautiful. She played with a lot of different formulas in here, and usually that's not very good for her, but it actually worked in this case for this palette. The new textures and formulas that she worked with were quite honestly amazing, and every tone of gold that you need is in here, and just every color in here worked with each other. So those are the 10 that we have for the battle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, <laughs> I should have my boyfriend come pick the palettes for me because I definitely know what I'm feeling as I pick it up. But I'm going to close my eyes. We'll see how this works first. I'm going to mix them up and hope I don't drop any on the floor. And then we'll have our first two contestants. Okay. I just used my pointer finger so that I didn't really know what I was feeling. Okay. First two that we have, the Natasha Denona Gold Palette and the Scott Barnes Snatchel Palette. And this one is pretty easy for me. I think as much as I love my Scott Barnes baby, I mean, look at these colors, every color that you need. It's a little bit more versatile of a palette with some more traditional formulas. My Gold Palette is going to win this round just because... I can't get over the quality of the palette, the unique shades while still being wearable in here. And for me, I just feel not more comfortable grabbing for this, but I feel more inspired grabbing for this while also feeling comfortable. I just love this palette so much, so this one was a winner. Okay, so Scott Barnes, you're out. Still a great palette. Still made it to the top 10, guys. All right, mixing them up. Hoping I don't mess up. Okay, and... Wait, I picked two. Wait, let me do that again. And... Ooh, did I just do that? We're gonna go Natasha Denona versus Natasha Denona. So, 
Now I have the brown green palette. This is a really <laughs> tough one, you guys. I think in my Natasha Denona's ranking, this one ranked on top. But honestly, I've really been into the 28 hand palettes recently because I've really been into green tones a lot. So if you go back to my Natasha Denona rankings, that was actually over a year ago. My preferences have changed and as much as I love the gold, I'm feeling this one today. I just feel like I have more options and since I'm loving the green tones more lately, I think this has the most beautiful shimmer shades in here. So. I'm gonna go with this guy. Surprisingly, Natasha Denona Gold, she's out early. I'm trying not to look at the table too much, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of putting them in a bunch, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my finger. Dang it. Okay. Pat McGrath, Vine Rose 2. Like, this one excites me more because it's newer and it's kind of a cooler vibe. This one though, I just feel more comfortable with. I've had it for longer. You guys ask me all the time how I keep this palette so clean. I just put my brush in the center and I tap it away so that it doesn't stick onto the black. Anyways, that was random. I kind of want to give it to the Pat McGrath just because it's new and exciting for me. I mean, if I'm being honest with myself, I've definitely been using the Divine Rose 2 a lot more recently because I love this as a blush color. I love this as a highlight color. So this has been it for me. It's been such a versatile palette. And I think on any normal day, the Natasha Denona would win. But honestly, I've been so in love with this Divine Rose 2 palette because it's new and shiny. I'm gonna let it win. Like, the new guy wins because I've been crazy over this palette. I think it's stunning. Dang, Natasha Denona's out. I'm surprised. All right, let me mix them up. I wish I could have my boyfriend come and just hand me a palette. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. I hit the table. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. 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 I can do this. This is the Soft Glam palette. And I think naturally you would be like, well, of course she's gonna choose the Pat McGrath palette. But here's the thing. As much as I love my Pat McGrath, I do find myself reaching for the ABH more. Like this is a classic everyday, really comfortable palette. I'd take this on vacation with me. I use it in my bridal kit. And if I didn't have the makeup collection that I had, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, to be quite honest, I would most definitely choose this over this because what, what am I gonna do with these colors with my minimal collection, right? I mean, these are two very different vibes, if I'm being honest. Everyday versus a really fun, exciting palette. I gotta stick to my guns. It's not that I think this palette is better. I think this one has cooler formulas and it just has a lot of things that this palette doesn't have. However, this palette and I have so many memories together and I will never not have this palette in my collection. Let me put it this way. Am I surprising you guys? But ABH is gonna win. So in some cases, this one won because it was new and exciting, but I can't deny that this is the most used palette in my collection. So ABH, Soft Glam, you got it. Let me close my eyes. Let's rearrange the baby and we turn around spin around spin around boom we have the Vizzy Art Grande Pro 1. Okay, this one's a pretty easy one. As much as I love this and how disgusting it looks, I definitely would want this over this because I guess the average person doesn't need all of these mattes. Though my love for this palette is very strong and the quality is very good. Gotta give it to my gal. Gotta give it to her. Four palettes left. Let's mix them up. Mm, one more time. Well, you know, oh, mm -hmm. I mean, that kind of made me dizzy, but I really was unable to decipher which palette that I chose. But Viziart Liaison won this one. Ooh, you guys know purple is my favorite eyeshadow color, and this is probably my favorite purple eyeshadow palette. Okay, ABH is going to win, though, but I love this palette. I had to think about it. Okay, it wasn't as easy as you think it was, but if I'm being realistic, Soft Glam is the best palette. Okay, we ready? Oh, my stomach's growling, guys. I'm so hungry. Oh, okay. All right. 
right, this one's an easy one. This was kind of a last one to enter the race kind of thing, but the Charlotte Tilbury Starry Eyes Hypnotize, not saying this isn't a good palette. I absolutely love it, and I think the quality is such a great representation of Charlotte Tilbury. But she doesn't do it for me like Soft Glam does. So, Soft Glam is gonna win. Okay, I'm getting too dizzy. I can't, I can't spin again. Who thought that was a good idea? I have two palettes left. We're gonna do Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Okay, Sultry won. <laughs> so, I have stated this before on my channel. This is a long time lover of mine. Right now, in the current trends that I'm loving, I'm loving the Cool Tone Neutrals. I really feel like the Sultry palette came out at the wrong time. Right now, cooler tones are in. At the time that this came out, nobody felt like they needed it because we were so into warm tone neutrals and we were like, these colors are so boring. And now a year later, I'm all about the Cool Tone Neutrals and this has been the best of the best for me. So right now, I would most definitely grab for this palette over the Soft Glam. So Sultry's gonna win this one. One is not better than the other. I just like the colors in here more but they're both equally as beautiful. So we're here for the final showdown and I was uh, kind of dreading this palette being in this video because my love for it is so deep. And <laughs> that is the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction. And I know what you're thinking. Pat McGrath is the easy shoe in, right? Right, but <laughs> the thing is though, this is just so comfortable for me. It's so wearable. I in some ways, it is a bit more of a reliable formula, more wearable. My devotion to bronze seduction is also very, very strong. So who do I want to win? All right, you guys know this one. <laughs> Bronze Seduction is going to win. It is the end all be all for moi. I think many of you coming in to this video, if you're familiar with my channel, you knew this baby was gonna be the winner, but I can't lie to myself. I can't, I absolutely love this palette so much. I don't know if it's still my number one favorite Pat McGrath palette in the world, but today I'm definitely feeling this palette. And I always say this in any type of rankings, opinions, videos of palettes, but everything is subject to change. I can think something different on a different day. But one thing that has always been sure about this palette is that I absolutely am obsessed with her, like on a creepy level. Bronze Seduction wins as always. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want some really fun other battle videos to watch, go check out Tara's and Christina's. I will link them down below in the box. Thank you girls for collaborating with me. It was fun as always. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would take the time to do so. I would really truly appreciate it. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.